Batman sent Joker to Metropolis. Joker has come to Metropolis to cause some chaos. It seems that he has gotten bored with Batman and Gotham, so he wanted to test out how it was to scare the people of Metropolis. We find Joker on the roof of the Daily Planet. He has announced that there are many bombs in Metropolis and he is the only one who knows their location. Basically, Joker is throwing down a challenge to Superman. After a few seconds, the Man of Steel appears. Joker starts to make fun of him right away. He makes fun of how his suit looks. Joker comments that Superman is so boring that he does not have any personality. Superman is just there and is not bothered by these comments by the Joker. He thinks that Joker is literally just a silly clown. Joker explains that there are bombs all over the city and now Superman will be tested if he can stop them. Superman and Joker basically start to talk. Joker explains that he has been many things in his life and he has done many horrible acts. At this moment, he does not know what he will do. He only knows that he wants to have some fun. Joker then once more starts to insult Superman and his outfit. Joker then makes a joke about superhero outfits and Superman actually laughs. Joker does not like the fact that someone is laughing at his jokes. Superman comments that it's a bit odd that a comedian like Joker does not like to make people laugh. Joker is getting more frustrated as the conversation goes on. He does not like how Superman is reacting to him. Joker is getting angry, and this is when he starts to talk about Batman. Joker makes up a story that Batman is a rich person who kidnaps homeless people and turns them into supervillains. He goes on this entire speech and Superman is getting bored. Superman calls out Joker for just talking too much and not being that funny. Joker now really gets pissed and decides it's time to detonate the bombs. Superman warns Joker that it would not be a smart idea to detonate the bombs. Joker thinks that Superman is bluffing, but in a flash, Superman shows up and he has all the bombs. Joker cannot believe that Superman was able to find the bombs already. Superman then reveals that the bombs Joker used create a specific sound, and he was just talking to the Joker until he found the bombs. Now that the bombs are found, there is no more danger. The Joker still thinks that he should detonate the bombs. Superman throws the bombs at Joker and tells him to go right ahead. The Daily Planet is totally empty. There is nobody in the street below. Superman does not care. He even tells Joker to maybe think about the situation for a few minutes. Joker again starts to insult Superman and calls his character bland. He thinks that Superman does not have any special traits. He is just boring. Superman notes that he likes that. If he is vague, then people do not know what he will do. In that moment, Superman uses his laser eyes and destroys the bomb and scares the Joker, and then tells the Joker that the next time he appears in his city, he might not be able to do any more comedy. Joker does not believe that Superman would kill him. He mentions the fact that Batman has a no-kill rule. Superman explains that he does not have any rules against killing. He just does not do it. But in Joker's case, he might make an exception. Joker starts to once again laugh at Superman, but this time it's very brief. Now Superman starts to roast the Joker, he mentions the fact that Joker is another clown in a costume, another generic villain that likes to hurt people. Superman now grabs the Joker as he has had enough of his stupidity. He talks about the fact that the Joker is just a bad idea and he is worthless and boring. Nobody is laughing anymore. Finally, Superman finishes his speech by telling Joker to get out of his town. Later in the day, we see Joker surrendering to the police. He is sad and he notes that Metropolis is too boring. In that instance, Superman flies to Gotham and crashes into the Batcave, and Batman talks. Superman knows that Batman set up the entire situation with Joker. In that moment, Batman reveals that this was a test for Superman. Superman lightly slaps Batman, but it still sent him flying across the room. Superman tells Batman to never send over his freaks to Metropolis. Joker could have really hurt someone, and Superman will not be part of Batman's war games. The last thing that Superman tells Batman is that the next time Joker appears in Metropolis, he is not coming back. Later that we see Superman flying in space. He remembers a joke that Joker said and actually laughs. Then the Man of Steel flies off. 